Bonjour, hello, and welcome to Max Mountain World. Today, I'm just going out on another little road trip in the car. I did a video a couple of days ago where I pointed out a couple of things down the lake, and in the edit, I wasn't sure if that was right, I wasn't sure what was what down there, so why not? What better things to do on a Friday afternoon? So, I'll just go down, check out various parts of the, the lake, see this, that, the next thing. And my last visit to the lake, I've got a, it's a massive lake. I, I, I'm going to visit various parts of it, but the very last bit is going to be really special. Okay, here's the video. So I'm just coming down to a, a beach area. It's very popular in the summer, but it's a little bit of water that's segregated off. This part doesn't empty like the rest of the lake. So it's kept separate, it's very shallow, and uh, as such I would expect it to be... Uh, Quite well frozen over. So let's go and have a look. Speed bumps. Not bad. So this is the beach and got a little warning sign up here Nippa Marshy Sula Glass Don't walk on the ice Now, <laughs> yeah it's pretty much frozen over, snowed on as well and the level's a bit lower than it would normally be in summertime you can tell by the, the way that the, the rampways are set normally the water would be lapping up under the horizontal parts of that. So, we'll go down and see, it's, it's well frozen right to the side. I'm not going on it, obviously, but it's pretty damn thick. Yeah, I think a few other people have done that. The other side of this barrier thing that's been built here is the that little lake I was at just now, the little protected lake, as it were. And just round here, I've never actually been down this bit before, so uh, this is actually taking us round the very bottom of that where it joins the, the lake for real, uh, the main part. So hopefully we can see this. I don't know, as I say, first time here, I don't know what's round here, apart from a bit of snow and ice. Yay! <laughs> and... see straight ahead, and if I zoom in a little bit, you'll see that that's the other side of it. This is sort of like a walkway bit, the bit we're alongside just now. This is the main part of the lake, the farthest north-east-ish sort of end of the lake. And just across the left here as well, you can see a couple of people standing on one of these barrier things. There is actually a huge quarry right behind me, so uh, yeah, there must be quarrying this stuff up all the time but yeah that's just it and it is quite well frozen over at that, that point. So just dropping down to the lake here down to Savine Lalac which is kind of like a it's almost like a seaside town resort really right next to the middle of the lake the bridge that the main road goes over you can see across on the horizon on the left the top of Mount Columbus which I don't know the altitude of but you can drive to the very top of it there's mass and things up there so I don't do that with, not these days, I've been up a couple of times, but uh, I don't go up with uh, the, the radio stuff and all, it's too risky. So just drop down to another favourite resort spot down here. Got to switch this off. Uh, that's a new regulation for uh, when you're videoing, not to be able to have an identifiable situation with uh, various 
categories of people. I mean, see someone down there driving a 4 by 4 on the beach, on the snowy beach. Yep, interesting. One meters. I've got to watch with the aerial. I can go through it. The aerial flexes, but there we go. <laughs> so let's just have a wee looky down here. And you can see where people have been driving on the beach. It's absolutely solid with the snow. I'm not going to risk it. Uh, I'm sure I get away with it, but. I'm not going to risk it. And you can see also just the mountain views. The altitude of the lake is around about 800 meters over sea level. And just to do a little pan around as it were, and we'll see across the side there, in these, just sort of halfway up these little mini valley things, it's where the old road used to be before they created, before they dammed up and created this uh, lake. But unfortunately, parts of that used to go below the lake level, so they completely redid the road to this side. Signpost on the right just says we're coming into Savine Le Lac. As I say, this is like a summer resort. Lots of water sports stuff goes on. Lots of campsites about here and uh, residences and things. And you see the view ahead, just beautiful, clear day. Just a few uh, wispy clouds up high in the distance, a few contrails from aircraft. And this is just basic Main Street. There's lots of little bits either side, restaurants and all sorts. Destination Nautique, it's a nautical destination. It's got one of these speed things. I'm going through it at 50, should be God, Yes! <laughs> Now the village in Scotland, West Linton, uh, was the first place that they tested out the very first of those automated speed doofers. There's a little fact for you, the Scots were first as usual. Oh yeah, try looking first. Can I do this without crossing that white line? Well, it's split there, so I reckon I can indicate to do it. Bit of a questionable thing, but he is only doing about three miles an hour. When we come down here to, to the bridge over, where we cross over, we rejoin where the other road used to be. This part of the lake's a lot deeper, it's not frozen. I spotted this guy down here in this boat. He's fishing or something but he's got a long line on the go with some kind of automated boaty thing on the go you can just see it in behind that branch here I'll come out the other side see if I can zoom in without it focusing on the branches so I don't know what this guy's doing so he's in his boat he's got an electric motor because there's no noise to his engine at all when I got out just now to have a look but he's got this thing that's where is it Oh, he's put it away. <laughs> oh no, it's there. Wow, this is so difficult to find on the viewfinder. Um, go out and try again. Right. So there's his little boat. And there's his little floaty thing, whatever that is. Let's wee flag on it. And it's got a fishing rod on it. Yeah, so he's fishing. He's fishing at a distance from himself. Strange. So further down, we've got the Bay Saint Michel here, which is a, a big resort across the far side there. Again, you can see all the rampways and piers and things. The water level down on where it wouldn't be normally. Beautifully clear. And across to the left of us here, we have the the island of Saint Michel, Lille Saint Michel, with its own little chapel on it and stuff, I believe is still active. And just as we leave there, let's have a quick view check and cloud check and stuff. 
just a fantastic view around here. We've got the uh, Devil Wee, the mountains across the right there. I was uh, living behind there when I first started all this caper down this neck of the woods. And you can see just a beautiful, beautiful view. And basically the lake goes about another well, half kilometre beyond where we can see there, round to the right, and it, that's where the dam is for it. So, beautiful clear. I've actually, when the lake level's been low, I've walked out a few times to that little uh, um, chapel thing, and on the wall, I don't know, I doubt, this has probably been a bit too ambitious, but that there is a sign saying no water skiing. <laughs> Sorry about the shaky, but that was uh, zoomed right in. Yeah, quite a bit of snow down here as well at the sides. And just have a look at one of these little mini valleys that I mentioned earlier. Down there as it joins the lake there. And you can see how close we are to the road. The road more or less follows the side of the lake for uh, a good bit of it. I'm just across the other side now. And I'll uh, have a quick look at where I've been just now and a couple of other things that maybe I've missed because I've been on the road. Just at one of the campsites. This side is all equipped up with campsites with uh, areas down here, beach areas and stuff like that. Needless to say, completely empty just now. Now where I started was way in the distance there. That's the the end of the, the sort of controlled water area, the... the play area as it were. Across to the side we've got uh, the bridge over here, Savine the Lac, you can just see the back of it over to the right there. And I've gone right, right across, right round, and the Bay San Michel is actually just around the corner to the right there. Now I'm not going to go any further up this road because it's in the shade and bits of it are lethal, they're icy. So that's the, the side there. Now if I zoom in on the bridge there, just beyond it, I don't think we can actually see it at this angle, it's a bit of a shame, but that old road that we mentioned is, is just behind there, but it's more or less the level of the water just now, when the lake's full it's underwater. So just at the side of the road here, and uh, just noticed, yeah it's a bit sad really, but this is the new chewing gum. So I did go a little bit further up the road, and uh, just across, let's get between these trees, you can see up, up above there, uh, that's uh, Mount Columbus that I mentioned with all the antennas on it and stuff. Just through the trees down the bottom here you can see the, the lake itself, and I'll go and find a better position for uh, the last bit. So I can just poke through these trees for the, the back end of this. This is the aisle down there, Ile Saint-Michel just beautiful clear and I was over the right there just up behind I don't know big big finger effect just down there and uh, yeah you can see across the left through the trees we've got all the, uh, the the marina area the playground as it were all the rampways and piers and things so we're Just the final part of the lake here. So that's the video for today. Sorry about the lighting in this uh, outtake bit, but I can always adjust it up. Oh, we've got a dog. <laughs> Hello, dog. And uh, yeah, just uh, a little sort of video around the north, the northeast side of the lake. And I know I'm around the other side, but that was just to finish off showing where I was and what was what. So uh, that's it for today. Thanks very much for watching. Remember to subscribe if you haven't already. All that stuff's much appreciated. So until the next video, thanks again for watching. Ciao. Remember, think safe, be safe.